guys and welcome back to my channel thanks a lot for clicking and in case you're very new here thanks a lot for clicking make sure you join the family by subscribing you can also join my channel membership which i have amazing amazing content for members only so you can first subscribe then you join um my channel membership and you'll get exclusive exclusive videos and so many other amazing things that happen right there okay so in today's video i want to share with you some amazing amazing recipes i am going to prepare pilau pilau is a mixture of rice beef and some amazing kenyan spices and if you didn't know in kenya we have very unique and sweet spices for our meals so just would you you'd just rather stick around so that you know what we call pilau in my country kenya right and uh, something else i want to prepare is chicken i am going to prepare chicken and uh, pure rice that is just white rice and that's for those who don't eat pilau so without much talking let's just jump into the video so the first thing i do is to boil this uh, chicken broth or chicken soup which i will use um uh, in the course of the day because it's very cold it's rainy and i need this soup to keep myself warm but before that i'll just uh chop some red onions and as you can see they are plenty if you want your pilau or your chicken to be sweet make sure the onions are so many and you can give a guess whether we are going to start with pilau or chicken on the comment section let me know what you think we are going to start with by the way i I miss interacting with you for for this week by the way tell me something on the comment section obana so i will wait for my onions to turn almost golden brown and um on the other side as you can see this is the chicken that we've boiled it's a kienyeji one the soup is just cooling down right here and at this point, I will crush some ginger and garlic and add them together with the cooking onions. So for my pilau, I will just use the chicken meat, but I will slice it into the smallest pieces so that at least ikai kama nyama ya mbuzi ama ngombe, just like beef meat. So after chopping the meat into small pieces, I will also chop some um potatoes and add them for me now i love my pilau with potatoes and they have to be intact as you can see i did not cut the potatoes and this how i will remove them looking like and uh, for my rice i don't add it afresh at this point i boil some water add the rice so that by the time this mixture cooks the rice is almost cooked and that's the time i add it inside my food and this how it's looking look at this i'm telling you even without adding some water this mixture will just make it and the rice will be cooked but because i don't want it to stick down there that's the most important point to note make sure as you mix your things they don't stick on your cooking pot down there because uh, this will mean your food will cook on one on it won't cook by the way down there it will burn at the middle it will cook on top it will be raw right good thing about pilau you don't have to struggle to measure the water as you can see i have added boiled water up to the level you can see right now it is not covering the food but it's almost covering i, I don't know if you can get me the water is not covering our pilau but it's almost somewhere there right remember for this rice to cook like this uh to look like this i did not cook it i just boiled some water added onto a cooking pot and uh throw drew in the rice without placing them on the cooking uh, on fire right so after mixing them the essence of mixing niku make sure akuna zenyezimestik na pochini because we don't want our food to burn this is how the food is drying so well so well look at this i know you i know for the rice this time round don't ask me which rice i use I have mentioned this time and again and again so you'd just rather check on my videos 
and you'll understand the rice that I'm using because that matters a lot. Pilau is not just the, the, the cooking. Pilau ni viungo na mchele yenye unatumia, right? It's all about the spices and the rice that you're using. And if you follow this method, I'm very sure you'll cook the sweetest and the most yummiest pilau ever. So remember we have our chicken to prepare so don't go anywhere. Stick around so that I show you how I am preparing my chicken in 2024. Things have changed. Yani in this year I have just discovered many new new things. I'd rather just give the video a like and uh, you wait till you see the end of this video. Because uh, um, as I mentioned in the start of the video I have some amazing amazing things to, to just show you. And uh, for the chicken, this the one that is remaining. Remember, for my pilau, I used the the chicken steak. In Itagwaje, how do we call it chicken steak? Uh, well, I don't know. If you know how we call that chicken steak or chicken uh, boneless meat, let me know. And uh, as usual, I fried some onions, added some ginger, garlic. And for these ones, I'll cook them on low heat till they turn almost golden brown. Another point to note about uh, this cooking, once your onions are almost turning golden brown, that's the time you add your ginger and garlic and make sure you spread it. Make sure you stir them so that at least they incorporate each other so that the red onions will come ginger and garlic. They hug together and... Yani just give us that aroma. I'm telling you by now, the aroma is everywhere. Yani kukanga this ginger and garlic with onions. Inafanyaga chakule yako inanukia vizuri. Even before you prepare the food. Apataka everybody is salivating because they know what they are expecting. Sipikie watu madhoko than you sasa ni 2024. In case I didn't mention, while I was preparing the pilau, I used chicken meat and uh, I waited for the chicken to turn golden brown. Yani not exactly golden brown but almost there so that at least sijui kama ushaikula pilau ukapata nyama inaka so brown unashindwa ni food color imekwa mani nini. Yes, I know some people do add food color to make sure that their food gets that uh, uh, amazing or pleasing color. But for me, I just... I, I just improvise. I just know how to balance these things so that at least it's in a pair that brownish thing. So sorry. Sorry guys because right now it's so raining and the thunderstorm is thundering down. And uh, I think I'll just have to do a voiceover. Sina choice are here because even I don't know kama mmekua mkisikia whatever I'm saying. So just watch the video and you'll get to understand what you are doing. But before that, before I start the voice over this, the brown that I was talking about, unakanga pole pole na mototu kiasi una make sure kila piece imetan golden brown iwe ni ya pilau ama ni ya kuku yenyewe ya kawaida and this will give you the amazing results maybe you're looking for. Yeah. tomatoes and add them in here i know it's the first time we are 
using blended tomatoes together with you and that's why i said this video has amazing amazing things to watch so make sure you give the video a like and tell me if you blend your tomatoes or you just chop them or cut them and add them to, uh, inside your food because i just discovered that uki blend your tomatoes na urushe kwa kanyama kako hmm? ama blend to your tomatoes na urushe somewhere it gives you yani ki amazing results a very thick stew but see it ubakisha maji kwa ni stew ya stew ya nyanya I know by now you love whatever you see. Just look at the color, the way it really changed. Remember, the only spices that I've used is uh, curry powder, only curry powder, and it has changed everything. Like, I think it all depends on how you prepare your ingredients or how you balance your ingredients. Remember, mostly in Africa, had to be maggi. We don't measure ingredients. You just use your eyes for something you use. And you come up with this thing. Look at this. Let me just try it a little bit so that at least the story for the shaky shaky. Look at this. I want to prepare. I want us to prepare ugali, but right now I'm thinking of preparing some rice so it's really fast. Look at this. So let's go. So let's prepare some rice so that we eat with this yummy yummy thing. Okay. I know by now you love whatever you see. Just look at the color, the way they really changed. Remember, the only spices that I've used is uh, curry powder, only curry powder. And it has changed everything. Like, I think it all depends on how you prepare your ingredients or how you balance your ingredients. Remember, mostly in Africa, had to be maggi. We don't measure ingredients. You just use your eyes because it's something you used. And you come up with this thing. Look at this. Let me just tie it a little bit so that at least sorry for the shaky shaky. Look at this. I wanna prepare. I wanted to prepare ugali, but right now I'm thinking of preparing some rice because it's really fast. Look at this. So let's go. So let's prepare some rice so that we eat with this yummy yummy thing. Okay. As you can see, I've also boiled some white rice, and this is because I have someone who doesn't take pilau. So for now, I will just serve this so that at least uh, my parents can go sleep because uh, I'm at actually at home. And they told me to prepare this video when I'm not gonna find a YouTube. Oh my goodness. And my parents just watch me on YouTube. And I feel so good. I feel so good. The fact that for me, I'm not gonna cook on rice. Now that's what they want to eat. So guys, we've come to the end of today's video. Let me know if you've enjoyed our three recipes. For the cabbage, I did not show you because it's just steaming. We started by pre preparing pilau. We shifted to chicken. And right now we have served everything. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Let's meet on my next one. And make sure you subscribe and tell me in the comment section. What do you think about today's content? Bye.